Now we are in the middle of October, but October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and that should mean something to men as well as women. So John is with some guests this morning with some very important advice. Hey, John. Yeah, Jordan, thank you very much. We have Dr. Claudia Young from Kaiser, an internist there, and we also have Bill Earhart, who is a breast cancer survivor joining us this morning. Thanks for being with us, guys. We appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Bill, I want to start with you because your story is interesting. You went to the doctor for something completely different. I did, yeah. Doctor says, anything else you want to ask me about? And you're like, yeah, this is weird. Tell them what your symptoms were and then what was your reaction when you found out that you were, well, you had breast my cancer? My symptoms, they started back in 2020, the mm -hmm. end of 2020, and I noticed my nipple starting to invert. And I, I blew it off like nothing and waited about nine months. And then uh, I, when I went into the doctor for my trigger finger, I, uh, he asked me if there was anything else. And mm -hmm. so I showed it to him because it started oozing blood. And, you know, and it got very sore and it That'll started oozing blood. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And so I told him about it. And um, so he checked it out and they had me over at the hospital within two hours. Wow. I, they were already doing a, a deep tissue um, um, biopsy. biopsy on me, yeah. So what's your reaction when the doctor tells you you have I, breast cancer? I was shocked. I go, yeah. you gotta be kidding me, you yeah. know, I'm a guy. Cause it's rare, what is it, like one in a hundred of cases or, or in men? It's less than 1% in wow. men, about 2,500 cases annually here in the United States. That's compared to 250,000 cases for women, so it is rare, but it absolutely happens. When men are diagnosed, are is it typically at later stages because we're less likely to get checked for it? That's exactly right. Wow. That's exactly right, and that's one of our purposes for coming out and telling Bill's story yeah. is for men and women, get to know their bodies, anything new, including yeah. the breast area, um, get it checked out. You know, I, I always tell my patients, it's your job to know something new or different, it's our job to make the right diagnosis and give you the best of care. So what are the risk factors then for breast cancer? And are they different for men than they are for women? So they're similar. And again, breast cancer in men is rare. Mm -hmm. And a lot of breast complaints turn out not to be cancer. But mm -hmm. when it comes to risk factors for breast cancer in men, certainly genetic mutations that have been associated with breast cancer, mm -hmm. such as the BRCA2 mutation and the BRCA1 mutation, uh, strong family history, um, and some other factors like age. A age is actually one of the most important risk factors for both men and women, just getting older. And then any chest wall uh, radiation, especially in a uh, uh, man's youth. Mm -hmm. So there are risk factors, but many men uh, who are diagnosed don't have risk factors. So again, I think the, the message is anything new or different should be checked out. So then what are, we, what are we looking for specifically, new or different? What are signs maybe you should go get this checked out? Good question. So Bill had some of the classic symptoms of the inverted nipple that doesn't come Meaning out. Meaning what? Okay. The I inverted see, yeah. nipple doesn't come out. The bleeding usually uh, it often will present as a hard mass underneath or near the nipple area. Mm -hmm. Uh, those are the most common. I'm checking myself as you said that. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> well, and, and that's okay to do. Yeah, I think do I it. think that yeah. men think, oh, I couldn't get breast cancer. Or I don't yeah. even have any breast. Men have breast tissue, very little breast tissue, yeah. but still breast tissue. Uh, so it's important to just be aware of any changes in your body. Bill, how are we doing now? I'm doing great. I'm yeah. doing wonderful. Yeah, I, I really am. You know, thank God I had the team that I had at Kaiser that, you know, took care of me. And not only that, but post. You know, uh, they, I mean, I get phone calls from the, yeah. you know, the nurse that, that took care of me. Are you still going through treatments? No, uh, no I'm done with my treatments. Wow, congratulations. Yeah. Yeah. How long has it been? It's been about, uh, about a year now. Wow. That, uh, after my chemo and the radiation and everything, so I'm. What was your family's reaction? Because you said you were shocked. I would imagine they were shocked as well. Well, yeah, they, they were very shocked. I mean, you know, mm -hmm. especially being a man. I mean, it's, uh, it was uh, pretty shocking and. And, and at times kind of a little sad, <laughs> but yeah. you know, but we all got through it and uh, you know, it's, it's just m moving forward now. Do you find doctor that men, you know, obviously we get checked for other kinds of cancer more frequently, but are we more likely to seek out help for, for cancers that are more traditionally male? Meaning that like, we don't think, oh, I need to have my, my chest examined because breast cancer is not likely for me. Sure. I mean, again, breast cancer is not common. Yeah. And a lot of things that involve the breast in men turn out not to be cancer. Mm -hmm. uh, and we don't screen for breast cancer in men with the traditional mammograms like we do for yeah. women, in part because the incidence of this 
uh, cancer is so low that it mm -hmm. wouldn't warrant a public health screening because of the prevalence, uh, low prevalence of the disease. But again, I think that um, educating the community about just getting to know their bodies and men, their breasts especially, mm -hmm. and I think trying to break through the barriers of the stigma of oh my gosh, I have a breast problem. I don't want to say anything. I mean, yeah. Bill almost, we have talked about that, how we almost didn't want to say anything because, you know, you're kind of embarrassed, but you shouldn't be embarrassed. Mm -hmm. It's just another organ of the body, just like any other organ. Mm -hmm. It's a dumb thing to be embarrassed about. Yeah. Doctor, thank you so much. Appreciate that, Bill. Thank you. Thank you. Glad you're doing well. I'm doing great. Appreciate that. I think I'm going to go <laughs> give myself yourself. a little check. <laughs> yeah, just, just feel around, right? Exactly. Just feel around. All right, thank you so much, guys. Great. You're welcome. Jordan? All right, thank you, John.